Hi, happy Sunday. It's so nice to be out here. I have spent a good two and a half weeks, as I mentioned in my last video, decluttering, and I feel so spacious inside, even more space, like I mentioned, to get good things to coming in, down to the point where I realized after I did all this decluttering, and I, you know that I'm a mediator, and now I'm getting more premonitions, which is amazing. It's just, you make space for the light and that love that you are to come in more intense. And that's, that leads me to what I'm gonna be talking about today. Love is constant. When you have done so much internal work, you've transcended ego. That means your head does not chatter during the daytime unless you're actually doing an activity or engage in an event, okay? And it's just nice and, and quiet, and it actually helps you to focus better, okay? And it helps you to be in the present more present moment better. So love is constant when you're in that space of the now, of the beingness. Love has no levels, like, oh, one minute you're completely in love with fireworks going out and the next minute you don't love. And why is that? An enlightened master once said, the peace that passes all understanding. When you've done so much clearing, when you've transcended ego, and now tra transcending means it's merged with soul. Soul is the love that you are. When you get to that point, that peace is completely obey it's just very smooth no ripples in it and it's such a peacefulness that nobody can take that peace away from you in any given moment that peace extends itself to relationships to the way that you react to the environment to your co-creating to your awareness and that peace actually equals your love that means that one minute you're not really excited and the next minute you're depressed. You're being that love constantly across the board, staying in your heart. I was viewing people waiting in line for the Powerball. I'm here in Florida. It was really huge. There were lines wrapped around people waiting to buy these tickets to get, to have the chance to win and get all these millions of dollars, which money is really an energy exchange. Could we not make lines that are that long, okay, to learn how to be in your heart and out of your head, learn how to see, learn how to feel, learn how to let go, learn how to flow. Could we not make a line Okay, that beautiful line to receive that beautiful love. And how do you get that love? How do you make that line? It means you have to meditate, you have to pray, you have to do your affirmations, you have to be eating as much raw fruits as you can, you have to be doing your distilled water, a, a good gallon of water a day, your coconut water, you have to be doing your breathing so important out to be in nature bringing more light more prana that is your line all those tools is your line to get there home to your love the love that you are which is constant it doesn't have ups and downs ego the false self has ups and downs and then you get synchronicity coming in Usually I meditate with my friend here on Sundays and she has been gracious enough to be with me for many years now, I, I, I think maybe at least 13 years or 14 years, to um, be in the present moment, the awareness, and has had that commitment to be with me to help others learn. And we were meditating last week and she told me in meditation that she had seen several months ago this stone that I have around my neck. And um, it's a beautiful stone. I don't know if you all could see it, but it's blue and gold. And I added this on the bottom. This is love, peace, constancy. Love 
and peace. And the masters basically told me that the reason she handed this to me and she saw herself and myself in a past life, her handing it to me and she was able to locate it was because the blue symbolizes how you speak, how you react through your guidance, through your truth. And the gold symbolizes the light, the guidance from the other side that you're getting. And so this is just wonderful for me to wear this piece to remember that at any given moment, if I'm in my heart, I'm speaking through the light. If I am in the moment of love, this key reminds me that the key is the key to my heart of love. And this came through John Lennon and, and uh, Yoko as well. So these are things that I cherish. The last one is an energy thing that my my son and his wife gave me and I love it because it has it looks almost like the Reiki symbol so I, I tend to wear that as well these are tools for reminders but the truth is inside you all those treasures are carried here in your heart not in your head not outside and I mentioned that last week so back to the love I can't say it enough love is constant it has no ups or downs and love is unconditional. There is no expectation, desire, wanting, excitement. All those things belong to ego. The biggest one is there is no trying to be in love. You have to become love. The word trying belongs to ego, the false self. So start today. Start today. Again, the key is meditation so that you can listen and your prayer should be one of thanksgiving prayer to be of service to everybody my service here and my desire this not desire but my service to you here because desire belongs to ego my service to you here is that all of you will have a shift in consciousness wake up and start transcending ego get back home into your heart and start servicing all of humanity so that we could have a loving peaceful planet and then from that space, we all co-create and share everything with everybody. So I leave you like I always do. We are love and light and we share that love and light. Have a beautiful day. Get out in nature, enjoy it, and love Mother Earth as much as you love divinity. So it is.